Hey, what's up YouTube? Today I'm gonna to be talking about the age-old calorie debate. Are all calories equal? Some people will say all calories are equal and some people will say, bro, you're an idiot if you think all calories are seriously the same. There's no way 100 calories of an apple can be the same as 100 calories of a candy bar. This is a very controversial debate and it shocks me how important it is, yet so few trainers actually know the right answer. In fact, here's a systemic review of 64 studies showing that most elite athletes and coaches don't really understand calories. The answer will probably shock you, so let's get a drum roll, please. And the answer is all calories are equal. I will even go as far to say that anyone who tells you otherwise does not truly understand what a calorie is. Now first, when I say all calories are equal, I'm not saying all foods are equal. For example, 100 calories of an apple is very different than 100 calories of a candy bar, but the calories are still the same. How is this possible? Because a calorie is not a nutrient. A calorie by definition is a measurement of energy to measure the energy needed to raise the temperature of one gram of water through one degree Celsius. When it comes to food, calories measure the potential energy which can then either A, pass through the human body undigested, B, be absorbed by the human body and burned off by being used for fuel, or C, be absorbed by the human body and then stored as something like muscle, fat, or glycogen. Like I said before, a calorie is not a nutrient. It's simply a unit of measurement to measure the potential energy in food. A calorie is like an inch. They're both units of measurement. Saying not all calories are equal is like saying not all inches are equal. That's just factually incorrect. All inches are equal. An inch will always be an inch regardless of what it measures. Five inches of toilet paper is the same five inches of toothpaste. Of course, the toilet paper and toothpaste have obvious differences like the way your body uses them, but the inch used to measure them are the same. Same thing with calories. Your body will use 100 calories of an apple differently than 100 calories of a candy bar because the nutrient content is very different. But the calories measured are still the same, meaning the potential energy in them is the same. This is why all calories are equal. If all calories are equal, why does my body use certain calories differently in some foods when compared to others? This is because, like I said, of the nutrients. All calories are technically equal, but not all nutrients are equal. First, let's talk about undigested nutrients. Most of all, protein, carbs, and fat you eat will be absorbed into the body, meaning it will then have the potential to be stored or used for fuel. The exception to this, however, is the infamous nutrient called fiber, which is a type of carbohydrate that comes in two forms. First is soluble fiber, which makes up about 70% of the fiber we eat. Soluble fiber is only two calories per gram and is absorbed by only the bacteria in your gut. This is good as that means it's almost impossible for it to be stored as fat. The other fiber is insoluble fiber. This fiber can be said to have zero calories because it passes straight through your body without being absorbed for digestion. This is why eating insoluble fiber helps you take pleasant, smooth dumps. But the real point I'm making here is that fiber doesn't get absorbed and stored. So if you have 100 calories of apples and 100 calories of a candy bar, the calories are the same because they have the same potential energy measured, but they will affect your body differently because all the calories measured in the apple that came from fiber can't be stored. So the apple will contain about 85 calories that can be potentially stored, while the candy bar still contains 100 calories that can be potentially stored because it has no fiber pretty much. Undigested nutrients like fiber is only one aspect. The next aspect is the thermic effect of food. The thermic effect of food is how many calories your body burns from digestion. Foods can have the same calories but have a different thermic effect based on their macronutrients. Protein has the highest thermic effect of food, which is about 20 to 30%, followed by carbs, which is about five to 10%, especially carbs high in fiber. And then generally speaking, fat has the lowest thermic effect of food. For example, if you ate 200 calories of butter and soda, your body isn't going to work very hard to digest this as it's very simple. Compare that to 200 calories of beef and carrots, 
Beef and carrots are tough and complex because of the protein and fiber in them. Your stomach will work much harder to digest these calories, thus making you burn more calories without even knowing it. Again, the calories originally measured are still the same, but some nutrients will help you burn additional calories without knowing because your body is working harder to digest them. The next aspect is satiety. Satiety is how filling foods are. Generally speaking, protein is the most filling, followed by fiber-dense carbs, then carbs and fat. So 200 calories of protein and high-fiber carbs will be far more filling than 200 calories of low-fiber carbs and fat. This is why calories are the same, but how filling certain foods are can be drastically different, even if they contain the same amount of calories. And the last aspect is micronutrients. Micronutrients are things like vitamins, minerals, and phytochemicals, which are very important for feeling good, human function, maintaining health, and having high energy. Generally speaking, minimally processed foods will have more micronutrients than heavily processed foods. For example, 100 calories of strawberries will have far more micronutrients than 100 calories of fruit snacks. They both have the same amount of potential energy, but the strawberries will be better at preventing diseases and keeping you healthy. So calories are the same, but nutrients aren't. This is why an apple and a candy bar are different. Not because the calories are different, but because the nutrients are different. The apple has more fiber, which can't be stored as fat. The apple helps you burn more calories by the thermic effect of food. And the apple is more filling while containing more micronutrients like vitamins. Some people will take this and say, well, calories don't matter, just eat healthy foods. No, this isn't true. Calories still matter, especially for fat loss goals. To lose weight, you still have to be in a caloric deficit, meaning you eat less total calories than you burn. Eating healthy foods makes getting into a deficit easier because they help you burn more calories and keep you more full, but it doesn't mean it's impossible to not get fat. It's very common for people to eat only healthy foods but still get fat because they weren't careful with their calories. Vice versa is true as well. Eating junk food makes getting into a deficit harder because they don't help you burn many calories and they're not very filling, but it doesn't mean it's impossible to include them. It's also very common for people to include junk food and still lose fat if they're mindful of what they eat and how much they're eating. So here's the ultimate answer, yes. All calories are equal because a calorie is simply a unit of measurement. But not all nutrients are equal because they affect your body in different ways, making certain foods more or less ideal depending on your goal. That is all for this video, YouTube. Please share it with someone who doesn't quite understand what a calorie is. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you next time. Peace.